Schools in Indonesia should not force girls to wear the hijab. That is what the governor of Jakarta said this week, arguing the decision to wear the Islamic veil must come from the students themselves. Indonesia is the world's largest Muslim country, but Islam is not the national religion. Instead, the country has five, including the two Christian denominations, Protestantism and Catholicism. However, the overwhelming majority of Muslims in the country has meant a surge in the number of women wearing the headscarf. So, Rebecca Henschke joins us now from Jakarta. And Rebecca, tell us what is so significant about the number of women who wear the hijab in Indonesia? Well, we have seen a dramatic increase in the last, to say, 10 to 15 years, particularly after the fall of, of General Sahato. Under his uh, rule, there was restrictions on, on religious freedom. But now, in a more democratic society, more girls are choosing to wear the headscarf, and there is more pressure on, on girls to make that decision. But what particularly concerned the governor of Jakarta, Ahok, he told uh, the BBC that he saw some girls coming home from school, and they were taking off uh, the headscarf as soon as they left the school building, making the suggestion that they were forced to do it at school and it wasn't something that they had chosen to do themselves. So that's why he made this decision. And, and the BBC has been speaking with a, a number of school students uh, in the island of Sumatra. We heard how girls in that area, both Christians and Muslims, are being told that they need to wear the headscarf at school. And here in Jakarta, we visited a school in a middle class area and we spoke to a Muslim and Christian student who said that Muslim students are told to wear the headscarf on Friday. If the teacher is around, then I wear it. If the teacher is not around, then I don't. It's hot wearing it, and to tell you the truth, not all the students wear the headscarf all the time. There are others like me who just wear the hijab because the school tell us to. A friend was once punished because she wasn't wearing a headscarf, and the teacher found out. She was given a lecture and asked why you were not wearing a headscarf and a reminder to wear it. All girls my age start to get pressure to wear it. Sometimes we naughty girl ignore it and don't wear it. At the start, I felt like it was discriminative. The Christian girls like me wear the normal white uniform and the Muslim girls the headscarf and long dress. At the start, it was a bit weird because it made it really obvious who are the Muslim and who are the Christians. But it's okay. I can tolerate it. We live like this. We are the minority and they are the majority. So we have to understand each other. So yes, I accept it. But uh, President, uh, the, the uh, governor of Jakarta, Ohok's statements about this have sparked controversy because he is the first Christian, non-Muslim, and also ethnic Chinese uh, governor that Jakarta has had. So comments like this, of course, are quite sensitive. Henschke, live from Jakarta, thank you so much for that update.